So I spent yesterday afternoon and the evening on that bench right there, just below the Anderson Pass. Pass now, and this is the ridge going up to Kings. I think that is actually the summit over there. I'll have to figure it out. I know it looks lower from here, but down in the valley, that one looked higher. And then again, the bench where I slept last night. top of the summit of King's Peak. If you look down there, you can see the switchbacks going up to Anderson Pass. And then, in a nice lucky stroke, I am on the first of the two summits that I could see from below. So that is South King's Peak. It still looks taller from here, but in reality, it is a whopping 12 feet shorter. Okay, what are your names? I'm Coley. I'm Dan. <laughs> so, Coley and Dan, you've been having a little trouble with blisters, I understand. Yeah, she's been fine. <laughs> I've had pretty bad ones. And then, so, let's look at these feet. About a couple miles ago, <laughs> Coley was like, oh, we have the same size shoe. Why don't we try trading? <laughs> so, that seems to be helping my one 
I'm at least limping along. And how about better. you, now that you have one of the red ones? I'm like feeling, I wore a different pair of shoes like when we did uh, Lone Peak and I had a blister from, from that that felt fine this whole time, but like now it's starting to act up a little. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Better hope she doesn't want to shoot back. <laughs> but I, it's okay. I can suffer for a little too. You've been suffering this whole time. You should see my feet. It's oh, it's so, so bad. Cool. This whole foot is a blister. Just... Well, I hope it gets better from here. All right, have a great hike. <laughs> you Thanks. too. Bye. Okay, I'm filling up my water supply. And then I turned around and looked up at King's Peak. And ta-da! It's already starting. I'd say my patience paid off. Today turned out to be a really good day. My funometer is skyrocketing right now. I 
was totally rewarded for my patience yesterday and got up King's Peak no problem in perfectly clear skies and the afternoon clouded up just like it has every other day so I'm glad that I got it done the way I did and news broadcast I fixed my sleeping pad I found the hole I tried again at lunchtime and I found it so I'm super excited about that I'm really looking forward to a good night's sleep and um, the other great thing is that I conserved enough on my battery the last two days that I will have no problem making it to my resupply at Chapetta Lake tomorrow which is about 12 miles from here and that leads me to my final thing um, I didn't get as many miles as I wanted today I wanted to try for 20 but considering I did do King's Peak and I met a ton of hikers going the other way, that really slowed me down because we stopped and talked at, I stopped and talked at almost every group. So, um, uh, yeah, so I'm excited. Uh, I got like 16 and a half today, um, but I'm optimistic that that count will go up tomorrow and it's going to be over soon. Um, okay, good night.